Hello guys, I am Fenil and you are watching Tech360. Without wasting time, let's get started. Today I am going to fix TWRP loop problem in Lenovo K3 Note which is working on MediaTek processor and this Lenovo phone is only for our experiment and today I am going to put this phone in TWRP loop mode only for you guys and I am using OSP extended ROM in this phone and so let's start our experiment. So guys here we have Lenovo K3 Note for our experiment uh, here I am using the custom ROM which is OSP extended 4.6 you can download it by from my description link and first of all I am going to show you what is the reason so your phone will go into the TWRP loop mode so for your convenience I am going to format my phone and why am I formatting my phone the reason is I want to my phone in TWRP loop mode so first of all I am going to backup and reset sorry backup and reset and factory reset so reset phone erase everything yes it will ask you and erase starting maybe it will take some time one minute two minute depends on your phone and it will go into the TWRP mode so I think it is in uh, TWRP loop mode yes you are watching again I am doing this thing and I am taking my hand so you can trust me that it is uh, TWRP mode itself I am not doing anything so this is our real problem so what is the solution for to fix this problem so here I am going to show you the solution so the solution of TWRP loop mode is to get back on our stock recovery or in our stock UI so to go in our stock UI uh, obviously we are using K3 Note so in K3 Note we are using MediaTek processor and for MediaTek we are using SP Flash tool and to get these softwares and this kind of ROM uh, I'll give description link you can download it from there uh, here is SP Flash tool here is uh, K3 Note UI stock UI official and you will get this kind of RAR file from the link of this RAR file and uh, link of this TWRP recovery because after uh, getting in stock UI obviously you want to go in the another ROM so you need to require TWRP recovery mode so I'll give, give this link in description also and this OSP extended 4.6 updated link in link in description so I'll give all of these links so before doing anything let's get started here first of all you have to check uh, this download option this option should be checked and this keto file is always should be in text document so this set text keto file will give you can uh, get this keto file after unzip that uh, stock ui and you will get this kind of text document set this you will get here this text document after under this file which will uh, you will get from description link uh, you will get this uh, download you can download this file and after under it you will get this text file so after setting this text file first of all you have to switch off your k3 node means uh, maybe you can using any of this media deck processor <coughs> switch it off and after that that click on this download and now connect your switch of phone with uh, data cable and after connecting this process will get start like here is happening it will take uh, near about uh, two to three minutes so save our time i'll pausing this video and after completing this thing i'll again start this video
here it uh, took a near about to 4.50 minutes approximately 5 minutes and is this process is completed so after getting this uh, big right sign you can start your phone because your store chrome is installed so let's see what is happening and what kind of uh, store chrome we got so guys as you watch uh, we have already installed the dollypop stock ui for lenovo k3 note so now let's start our phone and it can start it can take many of minutes like one minute two minute after completing this process so as you can see here a lenovo recovery stock recovery and it will start again now here you will get lollipop version So now it's finally started. So now we will get something like Chinese. So I don't know Chinese actually. So let me back and first of all, as per I'm showing that. I think it's uh, asking for language. So it's Aki asking for which language do you want to prefer in your smartphone. So here we will select yet it says English. You can select anything which do you want. It is congratulations. Let's start our Leno phone. And our phone is starting. It started. As you can see, let's start our camera. And camera. <laughs> so as you can see, my laptop screen is perfectly work. And as you know, it's official the UI. So I think. It's have nothing like bug, anything like bug. So let me show you again. I'll start this device to show you. It's now is it is not in TWRP loop. So now it start. Looted. As you can see, phone is not in TWRP and it's in stock. So guys, I hope you got the solution of your problem. So if you are facing any kind of problem, you can comment me below. My next video will be on how to flash TWRP and how to get back on your custom ROM. And so don't forget to like my video and share it. And also don't forget to subscribe my channel and tick that bell icon so you won't miss my next videos. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.